Hello and welcome to Piano Lessons Bolzer. I'm Sarah Hager. Today we will take up one more piece from Schumann's Kinderszenen, and that is an important event, a wichtige Begebenheit. And if you would like to hear and see my introduction to the whole Kinderszenen, please see my video on the first one of the pieces, and that is, uh, you know, of strange lands and people. Now, an important event is an important event in a child's life, and before we have a brief tutorial on it, I'd just like to play it to you. important, big, important event in and of itself. This is an important event in a child's life. It may be in one child's life going to the circus, in another child's life it may be a prize distribution ceremony in school where he is going to get an award. So, you know, it could be many things, but it, can, it is an important event in a child's life this piece is recommended for the level 8 examination of the Royal Conservatory of Music, Toronto, so you may be learning it or you may have learnt it for that reason also. It's in ternary form and the first and the third parts are not repeated but the middle part is repeated. And that is the section that is marked fortissimo. Whereas it begins, the first and the third part begin forte and then in the middle it's mezzo forte and then it's a diminuendo. So the first part is like... sure that you don't make a uh, Rita Dando because Schumann has not indicated it and Clara Schumann always warned the students where Schumann has not written a Rita Dando don't make a Rita Dando. Now in the so so at the end of the first part but the same thing in the third part at the very end you may make a brief Rita Nuto before the last chord, just hold the last chord back a little, some, somewhat like this. So it's not a Rita Dando, but a Rita Nuto, just holding the last A, ma a major chord by back by about half a second. And uh, the middle section, of course, is, I'm sorry, the middle section is very strong. And make sure you observe the accents in the left hand. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Or whatever, you know, whatever the notes are. The accent on the first beat in the left hand. That's what it is. And the last but not least 
is what tempo is it to be played? This is the only piece for which Schumann has written metronomic speeds. We don't know why. And the metronome, and he has not written any Italian uh, tempo indications like Allegro or Moderato, anything. So we only have the metronomic marks to go by. Schumann has indicated a 138, which would be... I think that that's too fast. And fortunately, I'm in good company because his wife, the great pianist Clara Schumann, also thought it was too fast. And in her special edition for her students, uh, she has indicated 120, which is also at a, at a very good clip, actually, at 120. I actually played it a little, even a little slower than that, more like 112 instead of 120, but 120 would be a very good speed at which to play it. So, enjoy playing this very lively piece by Schumann, which is, of course, followed immediately by the famous Troimerei, that is in all the piano anthologies and which the whole world loves. So it is deliberately meant to be a contrast to what follows and also to what went before, the very lyrical and, and gentle Glucus Genugo, happy enough. So thank you so much for watching and until next time.